What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm finally bringing you the Hoda Barbarian build, the LOD Hoda Barbarian build for Season 27 in Diablo 3. Man, it has taken us a while to get the loot for this build, but this build is absolutely fantastic. It's going to be great for speed GRs and your higher GR pushes. Although it's very hard to gear, guys, as normally with an LOD build with Legacy of Dreams, but the build is absolutely fantastic. So let's go over everything that you're going to need for the build and how to play it. So you're going to need Remorseless. Everything is going to be going through using uh, hammer of the ancient smash this is the hulk smash build so you need remorseless i suggest putting the power on this item unless you want to do it on another one but you definitely want the one where hammer of the ancient hits in all directions and then every 10th cast unleashes a big huge shockwave that deals a crap ton of damage okay and then while you have um berserker Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients active. Hammer does a lot more damage. So let's go over all the gear and how I actually built it. It's a little, uh, a few items are a little bit different, but everything's pretty much the same as far as your pushing build. But you're going to have the Ice Climbers to gain immunity from uh, mobile effects. You got Blackthorn's Jousting Mail for just a really good uh, pants item. Uh, the Witching Hour, which is really great because we want the attack speed. Uh, Cinder Coat, because everything that we're going to be doing is be pushing through on fire damage. So we want as much fire damage on these items as possible. So we got the fire skill damage there. I opted in for Mage Fist for more fire damage. Uh, we got Fury of the Ancients, which gains the effect of the Ancient Fury Rune and your Ancients attack 100% faster. Uh, Leoric's Crown for just more cooldown, of course. Squirt's Necklace for more damage, guys. Pretty standard. And then Bracers of the First Men for more fire skill damage. Uh, if you have the other one where it gives you Mordix Brace, you can swap these out. Just make sure to use whichever one is better. And then I got COE, and then we got Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac for cooldown because this build is very cooldown dependent with Call of the Ancients and Wrath of the Berserker. Okay, so our other weapon is going to be Echoing Fury for more attack speed and damage. So those are the items that we actually use for the build, guys. It's actually pretty standard. Uh, some of the items are definitely different. Like, we, we have some items here that we're going to go over uh, later in the video to kind of swap out for some other options. But that's what we have in our Kanias Cube, guys. We got Gavel of Judgment. This is mandatory on uh, the Hoda build for increased damage. Uh, Mordix Brace to give Wrath of Berserker every rune. And then B Band of Might, which gives you damage reduction for the build as we are mercilessly charging around. All right, into our skills and passives, we got Hammer of the Ancient Smash, which is a fire-based attack, which is why we want increased fire damage on everything, which we have 55% more damage. Battle Rage Bloodshed for critical hit chance to deal more damage. Furious Charge to help dash around, guys, pretty easy. And then Sprint to give us more movement speed for speed GRs. And then, of course, Call the Ancients together as one and Wrath of the Berserker. Doesn't matter which rune you pick. Now into the passives, we got Berserker Rage for more damage, Ruthless for more damage, Boon of Bokathos for cooldown, and then Rampage because you should never not run Rampage for more damage. Okay, so these are this is the build, guys. Let's go in. I'm just going to showcase the build real quick and do a GR90 just to show you how, how the build works and how cool it is. So you're going to go in. You're going to do a GR90 is what I'm rocking on. I can do these in about two minutes. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to charge at somebody, generate your... Fury, we're going to pop our Battle Rage and then uh, spam Sprint. We're going to pop our Call of the Ancients and Wrath of the Berserker because that allows us to deal all our damage. And then all we're going to do is charge around and then smash everything in sight, okay? So let's get right into it. All right, boom. Pop both of these things, smash, and you're just going to go. It's a pretty, it's a pretty chill build, guys. There's not too much to it at all. The build is very, very fun, very, very relaxed. It's such a cool build to play with. The only bummer with this build is that it is an LOD build, which makes it very, very hard to, uh, you know, gear. But what you can do is you can take whatever that you're playing and, you know, you just kind of gear it up over time. A lot of the items that I originally got is from, uh, like, getting the item and then just changing the stat priority from, like, let's say dexterity or intelligence to... Uh, whatever that you know to strength so you can do that as a temporary placeholder until you can get you know you can start farming with this and then get some get the right items with the rats rat the right stat priorities to do but otherwise this build is so fun to play all you do is smash everything nothing ever survives 
it's such a fun build to play. I wish we could get a better map. But as you can see, you're just kind of like smashing everything. You just use Hoda. If you want, you could do a really cool way and just kind of go around and farm the elites if you would like. Otherwise, get those big groups and smash everything in sight. Try to move as quickly as possible. Unless you got a really big group, I would say don't worry about like smashing out. Although we do need our obsidian ring to kind of pop so that way we can keep our Wrath of the Berserker and our Together as one up all the time. So it is going to be tough to avoid like big mobs, but you can do it. No problem. There we go. Let's get it rolling. There we go. Boom. The build is so cool, man. It's everything a Barbarian is in Diablo 3, which is just fantastic. Okay. It's everything that you want inside the build. There's nothing fancy about it besides gearing. And that's it. We're just going to smash this guy out. Boom. Easy. 2 minutes, 15 seconds. No problem. Super fast, guys. The build is super chill. I'll see you back in town. All right, guys. So we're back. Two minutes, 15 seconds, no problem. The build is super, super chill. We're just gonna get rid of the, uh, these items and go over a couple more things for you. But the build, as you can see, is very, very strong. We don't even have everything augmented. We don't have everything uh, ancient yet. Like we have most of it ancient. We're missing a couple pieces. Uh, and then we still need to augment a lot of the gear. But as you can see, the build is super, super powerful super strong very very cool it's one of the best barbarians if not the best uh one of the best builds in the game for speed grs and higher gr pushing so i want to go over a couple more things guys that you have you have a couple options here as far as items that you can swap out and it's all kind of personal preference so with hammer of the ancients for the smashes and the waves you want to hit certain breakpoints on your attack speed i'm still a little bit under but you want to hit a certain certain breakpoint we need this to be a little bit higher but with Echoing Fury, this actually procs up to be to hit right around where we're going to be at for our 13 frames uh, or four attacks per second. Um, a little over that, 4.6, I think it is, that we need to uh, hit our attacks per second. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if that's a little bit off. But it's somewhere around there to maximize how many uh, shockwaves that, that we get to also help proc those and then keep our, our skills uh, up the entire time. Now couple items that you can swap out if you want to uh, change up the build, guys. You don't have to build it the exact way I did, but you can swap out a couple things. So if you don't want to run Echoing Fury, you can definitely run Ingium, which would be really cool to help reset uh, Merciless Assault, uh, you know, Furious Charge. This will help you dash around the map even faster than I did uh, because of the, the cooldowns reduced by 9 seconds for 15 seconds. So if you want to run this instead of the Echoing Fury... Uh, you definitely can. That is the one flavor twist about these two. Otherwise, the damage is about the same uh, in my testing. I actually prefer the Echoing Fury because of the increased attack speed since I don't have everything decked out for uh, that breakpoint. Uh, instead of Cinderco, if you don't want the extra fire skill damage and you feel like you're um, a little squishy, you could do Aquilus for just more damage reduction. And then in our gloves, there's a lot of options here. If you're going to use Ice Climbers, you could combine that with Stone Gauntlets or St. Archie's Gauge for every time you kill an elite mob, you get the shield for a lot of damage reduction, which is great. Um, or in the boots, you could use the, uh, the Illusionist boots, which will give you... Um, you know, basically the same thing, gain immunity, and you can just go through enemies unhinged, which is really nice. So you have a lot of flexibility, guys, in those items if you do want to swap those out. As far as the gems, we're rocking Zayastone of Vengeance for more damage, of course, LOD, and then Bane of the Trap for just more damage. So if you want to swap out Zayas because you feel like you're still uh, kind of squishy, you can definitely do Bane of the Stricken, which will help you on bosses and Rift Guardians. Um, but the cool thing about Zayas is, is not only are you smashing everything up close, but when that shockwave goes out, Zayas actually procs with that, I believe. So let me know down in the comments if I'm a little bit wrong about that one, guys. But you do get the additional damage when you hit the shockwave. So that is the Hoda build for Barbarians. One last thing that you could swap out, guys, as far as the skills. If you don't like Marathon, you could definitely just swap out and go Whirlwind uh, Dust Devils. And then kind of pull everything and then smash down. Either way, it's kind of fine. I've been testing with both. But sprint seems to be pretty cool. 
but if you don't like uh, the sprint, I would probably say just run Whirlwind. Um, in this particular build, if I'm not running Ingium, I should probably swap this for Whirlwind. So that way, in between the recharge time here, I can Whirlwind and pull things. But that is the LOD Barbarian Hoda build, guys. This build is absolutely fantastic. It's taken me uh, a hot minute to get the gear for it. We still don't even have everything augmented. So let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the build what kind of items are you guys rocking on it please let me down in the comments if you did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and if you're new here be sure to subscribe guys all the support has been fantastic all the positive feedback all the things you guys helped me with is just great so we're here to kind of grow and play these cool awesome builds together so appreciate all the love and support guys and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one stay gaming peace